John Patrick Amama Mbabazi dropped out of his home in the Kampala upscale residential area of Kololo at 7.50 a.m. this morning. His convoy of two cars easily negotiated a traffic jam on Ginger Road. However, he was briefly stopped alongside other travelers at Lugazi town, 38 kilometers from Kampala. He was also stopped in Njero near Ginger town and allowed to go. However, police inspected vehicles transporting journalists before they were allowed to proceed. Fine. Even the Indians. Yeah, we want you people to be safe. We should be safe from you, you ourselves. Know? Yeah, yeah. Where are these other ones passing? Which, which other ones? This one is yeah, fast, the other one is there at a seat. Babazi was eventually arrested as he approached the main bridge in Jinja town. He was driven back to Kampala in a police pickup truck amid protests from youthful crowds. Police Director of Operations Andrew Felix Kawesi says Mbabazi ignored police orders. And I gave him a job. Either to go back to Kampala in his own car, or I use reasonable force to arrest him. And he opted for that. We have arrested him under preventive action. The convoy carrying Babazi arrived at Kera Road Police Station in Kampala at 11.50 a.m. I'm a general here. Police barred many visitors, including General David Sejusa and MPs, from speaking to him inside the police station. It's very undemocratic. Yeah, it's been coming, slowly, slowly, but I didn't expect it to reach this level, and I hope it won't deteriorate further. Now I think for Mr. Mbaba, the hangover is gone. Of former Prime Minister, of Secretary General, now he must commit ideological suicide, ally with the population, go into the trenches. To remove him seven is going to be trench warfare. However, there was a confrontation between the police and a group of youth supporting Babazi. It is 5 p.m. now and John Patrick Amama Babazi has been held here at Kira Road Police Station for just over six hours. Apparently, there is a deadlock on the charges put against him by the police and it's not clear if this is going to deter him from going up country for these consultations. It is said police wanted him to sign a form that did not have a charge. But nobody can write a statement without knowing the charge against which he's writing a statement. His team of lawyers continue to engage the police demanding his release. His plans, he says, are not deterred. Today Mbale could have been uh, disorganized. Others remain unchanged because he's within the law. And we believe the people to arrest and bring here are those breaking the law. You know when you do something which undresses your enemy, which helps clear the air, it's a wonderful thing. So Mr. Mbabazi, it's a victory for him, but it's not enough. Mbabazi said on Monday that he will not be deterred by the police from holding consultative meetings across the country. Stripped of the trappings of power, Mbabazi remains held at the police station as he seeks his next move to reach out to the electorate in his attempt to defeat his former master at the ballot in 2016. Moses Akena, NTV.